What's going on, guys? It's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below, guys. And for the love of God, guys, hit the thumbs up, please. If you guys watch the channel, please hit the thumbs up. It does tremendous amounts of difference for the channel. Now, with that being said, guys, I just want to stop for a minute and just ask everyone if they're okay, if all family members are doing well. I'm praying for everybody. You guys have no idea. I know we're dealing with a lot right now. But with that being said, we're going to jump straight off on this topic today. Day, okay has somebody messaged me talking about his beard was forked okay um just in the past couple months he said a couple weeks been noticing uh his beard is forking and thinning in the middle i'm going to explain to you guys what i think this is um from my own opinion because i've dealt with a little bit of this and i still deal with this to this day even though you guys might not be able to see it in the beard i still have a forked area it's not the easiest to deal with it's it's something that uh you know a lot of people deal with and you guys will notice you know if you was to get close enough to somebody else's beard you'd probably see the same thing now not all beards are created equal so you got a few people out there that just all this hair through this area grows with no problem and then you got a few other people that are just in between so and then you got your other people that are on the outskirts of all that but for this video here we're gonna be talking about the in-between because I'm right there in the in-between so I want to share my experience with you. You got some people out there whose beards right here in this area grow full and long the whole time their beard is growing, okay? And then you got other people whose beards are completely patchy. I don't want to say patchy, but they're thinner in this area, okay? And what happens is when it gets thinner here, it creates a fork. Now, when it creates that fork, your beard, there's a several things it could be. You're, you could actually have reached a terminal link, bad genetics in that area, and you got the people out there that's got good genetics in that area whose beards go nice and full through that through that whole part there. Okay, so for me personally, what happens for me is right here in this area. Sorry guys, I'm looking over here so I can see this screen. Right here in this area, I probably won't be able to get close up to the camera, but my beard actually, because what happens is right here, I've always had a weak chin area. And when I say chin, I'm talking about literally right here. Okay, all this is nice and thick, but from right here, okay, this area here is just weak. These hairs do not grow as long. Now, some of them are still long, but a lot of them, especially from this area, you can see I got these patchy little areas right here. From right in here, I've got a weak chin area. This is what causes my fork. Now, I don't know if your beard is the same as mine, but if it is, I'm trying to explain the details and why my beard does this and maybe to kind of help break down why yours, is, why yours is doing this, okay? So mine is weak right here in this area. So what it happens, what it, what it tends to do is right here, it all looks good when you just see it like this, all right? But if I was to actually pull this out and pull some of these center hairs out, you'll see some that are a lot shorter. Let me see if I can find them. Like that. There's a few in there. Okay, let me get these out of the way. I don't know if you see that. Those are really short. Okay, so what happens? They're not nowhere near as long as those. Okay, you see the difference there? Hopefully you guys can see that on the camera. They're just not nowhere near the same length. But for what I do is I just get it all together. I, I style my whole beard right. And then I sometimes I just kind of crisscross this area right here a little bit. And, and they'll kind of intertwine. It gets rid of the fork. Now before this, what I was doing is, and I still do this now, because all these side hairs right here up in the front, compared to that middle, all these side hairs grow way faster and longer than that middle will ever grow for me. And then if it's not this situation for you, then you need to uh, consider doing more co-washing, more beard butters and stuff like that at nighttime. Help soften your beard up, keep it conditioned and things like that. So, but for me, what I would do to get past that, you know, because like I said, it could be either you just have your genetics or just with the forked beard or your, um, your beard's terminal. You know, so for me, I think my genetics is just have, is to have a forked beard. But the way I get past it is I let it grow, okay? I let all this grow. And then once the fork starts coming in, I literally just get through there, grab my scissors. I snip basically off of these areas and don't touch the center. And I keep it at a nice length. Basically what that does is just hides that forked area by cutting here and cutting here on the sides and not touching the middle. It helps hide that fork that you're seeing, okay? If this is what you're dealing with and it's not just breakage, you know, it's actually a forked beard, uh, this is the way that I would approach it, okay? I would literally, the sides right here that are growing longer, I would just trim a little bit here, trim a little bit here. Don't touch the middle as much. Just kind of trim these sides up 
and let that middle grow down. Let the middle grow down to try to reach its longest potential to where the sides are at. It may not ever reach there, but you can kind of hide it like this, okay? You can kind of hide it by trimming a little bit here, a little bit there, and letting the center grow down. And that's how I deal with my forked beard, okay? It doesn't look like it on camera. You guys probably never see it, but I have a forked beard. It's just not as bad as some other people out there. Um, you know, some people got a lot more, you can see it a lot more, it's more prominent versus mine you know it, it's not mine's not as, as strong and prominent as some other people's so i'm able to hide it well and it's not real crazy for it it's just enough to where if i was to sit here and comb it all out and show you these weak hairs right here in the middle it's just enough it'd be just enough for me to show you, you know if i was to comb it all out and you would see that some of them are only this long compared to the others or you know you could see or you know i got some hairs here that are really long and then right there in the center, I got something that's really short. And that's because of all this weak chin area right here. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it's anything other than that. You know, I'm not having any breakage. It's just the weak chin area. Hopefully, you know, if that's what you're dealing with, you can understand what I'm saying. Just trim the sides a little bit. Leave the center long. Give it time to grow down. Give it time to grow itself down and reach the sides. Okay? If this doesn't work, then, um, and you believe that it's just straight breakage, then go use more co-wash at night, more beer butter, maybe maybe night and during the day. Try that out for a couple weeks. See if that helps you see if you're seeing any more growth in that area. Maybe even go as long as a month because that's when you're really gonna see if those hairs are growing any longer. And if that don't work for you, like I said, you're gonna have to trim the sides, trim a little bit here, trim a little bit there, even it out with the center where it's forked and uh, kind of just blend it in and hide it like I'm doing, you know? Like I said, mine isn't crazy forked, but it's enough to where it's bothered me in the past. And this is the way that I pushed through that forked uh, beard. And yeah, hope that can help some guys. Hope you can relate. Hope this really, you know, kind of answered the question uh, as far as the forked beard. And by all means, guys, I hope all is well. You guys, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you and your family's doing. If it's, you know, if this whole virus has affected anything for you guys, you know, I stay worried about y'all. We always, we're always in the comments, you know, back and forth. I see you guys a lot. You guys are all like my best friends. So please leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing. And with that being said, see you guys in the next one.